Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my team-by-team -team 2013 NFL Draft recap analysis and final grades. This video is for the New York Giants who had seven picks in the 2013 draft. The first of those picks was pick number 19. They selected Justin Pugh, the guard tackle from Syracuse. Uh, Pugh was thought by many to project as a guard on the NFL level after playing tackle at Syracuse. Jerry Reese, though, the Giants GM, thinks that he can be a nice fit at right tackle for the G-men, so look at him to compete for time right off the bat at the right tackle position with always the possibility he could slide into guard um, if needed. Pick number 49, the Giants select Jonathan Hankins from Ohio State. Hankins was a tremendously productive player at Ohio State, Okay, one of their better players, um, the one question about him is his motor, as is with a lot of these defensive tackles and defensive linemen, keeping up that intensity play after play, which is something the Giants have always seemed to get a lot out of their defensive linemen, especially on the interior. Look for him to be inserted into the Giants' defensive line rotation, which they're famous for, right off the bat, and look for him to potentially be a stud in years to come um, for the Giants on the interior of that defensive line. So the Giants go offensive line, defensive line with their first two picks. Pick number 81 is Demontre Moore from Texas A&M. And look, sometimes I think that we, um, and I'm, I'm guilty of it too, we overanalyze things a little too much. You know, Demontre Moore is a defensive end that had 12 and a half sacks in the SEC, eight of which were in, in conference. So you have a tremendously productive pass rusher in the toughest conference in college football. And it seemed like everyone, and, and this is sort of his doing was well, he didn't perform at the combo or at his pro day as good as people thought he was going to. This was a guy that before all the combine workouts and pro day workouts, he was slated to go in the top 15 picks in everyone's mock draft. He lasts till 81, a tremendously productive player. He'll get inserted right into that Giants defensive end rotation and I think be a nice compliment there. Um, down the road to Jason Pierre-Paul on that defensive line. I like Demontre more, and I really like this pick, especially at pick 81. Pick 110, Ryan Nassib, quarterback from Syracuse. Nassib lasts last year till the, till the fourth round, where the Giants, you know, Jerry Reese is a best available guy. Ryan Nassib, best available on his board, and they nab him here. Uh, we'll see where he fits in this year. He might be the third-string quarterback. Um, behind Eli Manning and David Carr. We'll see if he can battle David Carr for that backup spot. It looks more likely though that he'll be the backup, um, not this coming year, but maybe next year in 2014. And uh, hey, look, at the very least for the Giants, maybe they groom Nassib and flip him for a, a pick a little later on. And obviously, best case is you know, Eli Manning is entering his ninth season in the pros. So maybe if Manning uh, ends towards the end of his career, maybe Nassib is a re replacement. But I think he lies a little bit farther away from his career uh, than than people think. So I don't think he's the heir apparent to Eli. I think that first scenario I outlined where they flip him for picks uh, would be ideal for the Giants after nabbing him in the fourth round. Pick 152, Cooper Taylor from Richmond. Uh, this is a guy um, who really burst on the scene um, at the Combine. Uh, it, it's, it's sort of... It's wavering a little bit whether he's a safety or an outside linebacker, but the guy's a football player, productive at Richmond. Although it's a lower level of football, there's a guy that's a you know a football player first, has the measurables, has you know it, it just remains to be seen whether he's a guard or an uh, sorry a safety or an outside linebacker, and we'll see. But again, a good good football player can be used on special teams in the meantime while he figures out a position. Pick number two thirty four, Eric Herman, guard from Ohio. Um, look, he's a guy that's sheerly picked up to add depth um, at the guard spot with Chris Snee getting a little bit older. Um, obviously, if they have visions on Pew going to tackle, they pick Herman to give them some depth here. He started 51 games at Ohio um, and was a solid anchor for them. And a guy who, again, productive, started 51 games. The kinds of guys um, that, Reggie, uh, that Jerry Reese likes to have around. Pick 253, Michael Cox, the running back from UMass. This is a guy who wasn't even invited to the combine. UMass is pro day. He runs a 4-5, I think it's like a 4-5, 540. He's 6'1, 215, a power guy. Uh, best case scenario, he ends up as a backup sort of power back 
behind an Andre Brown. Worst case, they put him on the practice squad and see if they can develop him. Let me know what you guys think of the Giants' seven draft picks that I just analyzed here real quick for you. Um, be sure to join the conversation in the comments. Catch me on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I upload videos all day, every day, talking sports here on YouTube. So, again, feel free to join the conversation. Be sure to subscribe, and have a great night.